greetings fellow flat caps and welcome to the stream if you happen to be watching on YouTube let me adjust my microphone first if you happen to be watching on YouTube and you want to get involved with the streams you know where the links are by now so anyone who follows my YouTube will know that a while ago I covered ZB Tours latest build of the game he said that this is probably going to be one of, if not the finalized version of the game. But of course, there's always work to be done. So I figure that let's play through it so that anyone who's interested in the game can see what it's like. But also, let's try and find some bugs and errors for ZB to, ZB Tour to try and fix. That was hard to say, and it shouldn't have been hard to say, but I'm an idiot. So what we're going to do is... There is obviously, oops, hang on. There's obviously a lot of modes here. You can play through the chapters individually. You can play through them all in one go with an NPC helper. You can play through the Streets of Rage mode. Uh, the Watchtower mode, not really worth doing if I'm on my own. And I've got New Game Plus, which is you go through the story mode, being able to choose any character you can imagine. And there's someone in the chat. Who is it? Oh, no, that's just uh, thingy bot. Stream bot, that's it, yes. So I think we will... Hmm. We're going to be streaming for about three hours-ish. Uh, Akka might turn up halfway through. She's currently gone to a doctor's appointment. I'm going to just move that. She's currently gone to a doctor's appointment, so she might join in, or she might just jump on her PC and play Stardew when she gets back. I don't know, but we will find out when she gets back. So, I'm going to say let's do New Game Plus first, because judging by ZVTOS Patreon, this is the one he's had least confidence with, because of characters being included in levels they may not be able to traverse properly. So we've obviously got a load of characters here, like you've seen in the video. We've got Red Hood, Patreon exclusive, and then we've got people like Lobo, Spawn, Spawn, Warblade, the Turtles, and so on. Now I'm spoiled for choice, though. Who do I play with? Oh, hello. Who's that in the chat? Yeah, I also have to stress, I may find it hard to read chat. Or I oh, oh, looks like I'm playing as Beast Boy. It's going to be hard for me to read chat because it's cut off from the game because I've got to play it in windowed mode. Who's that? It's EP. Hello, EP. How are you doing? Right. Yeah. So, if you've seen my video, you know some of the criticisms I have of this game anyway. The over-aggressiveness of some enemies, the hit detection could potentially be a problem. But the majority of this game is good and well-functioning. It's just, it has a few things that need to be ironed out. Beast Boy is still one of my favourite characters, just for the cosmetics alone. The animal animations are, just, are very good, because they're very smooth. Right, hold on. Whee! There we go. Hello, Commissioner Gordon! The Teen Titans are here to help. Well, two of them anyway. Who's that? This is just a reminder I should play more ZVTOR games. Yes, CP, you should. Because they are good. He is actually working on a D&D &D one at the minute as well. Based off the old cartoon, which looks pretty good. Uh, the beta for that isn't out at the minute, but I'm going to be the, one of the first to uh, review it. And maybe only person to review it. When it comes out. Having said that, though, there was a big-name YouTuber named Matt McMuscles, which recently played his Mortal Kombat game on there. Didn't credit him, but it's good that ZVTOR has gotten some recognition now. Oh, there's someone else in the chat. Who's that? That is... Nathan? No, that's Kizzy. Hello, Kizzy. How are you doing? How are the piggies? Also, can you hear the game all right? I've had to fiddle with the audio options. Can you hear me okay? And can you hear the game okay? Hold on a second. I may be able to... No, that's not going to work. Both sound good. Thank you, Kizzy. 
Uh, it's because the game is taking up so much room on the desktop, I can't see the chat. So I'm going to have to either keep... But actually, do you know, where's my phone? I do have a phone. It's dying, but I do have a phone. Hold on, let me find my phone. Confused the Texan treasure with the Lester child. What? No, I called her Kizzy. Why? What do you think I called her? Wait, do you think I called her Chrissy? Piggies are good, by the way. Oh, that's good. Did you knit we... Oh, no, EP, it's because I heard... It's because on the side of my screen, I saw Howdy, and usually that's what Nathan says. But then when I actually clicked off the game, it's our Texan treasure, Kizzy. Right, give me a minute. I'm just going to grab my phone so I can read the chat better. But first, of course, I have to find it. It could be anywhere. Found it! Are you proud of me? It does need charging though. We never claim to be professional here at the Spectrum. <sighs> right, let me open up the chat on my phone. Right, let's see. Uh, open up L Chrome. To it. God, curse having fat fingers. You end up hitting the wrong letters. Oh, you bugger. They are, this phone is an absolute nightmare. Because it's got the worst touch screen in the world. Meanwhile, let me look at chat for a second. Who we got? Uh, you're so sleepy. Yeah, we appreciate you putting the effort in anyway, though, Kizzy. Uh, EP is a proud Snorlax. Thank you. Zach is a stream. One of the things Foxo enjoys. Thank you, Lit. To clarify, Lit, he's not calling you a bugger. Also, hi. Yeah, bugger is one of my catchphrases. Okay. So. I'm probably going to miss a lot of the chat because on my phone, it's got a very tiny chat. And Mushy's here. Hello. Hello, Beth. How are you? All right, let's continue with the game. I'm a random. Beast Boy is the ultimate furry. He can be any furry you desire. Oh, you bugger. Whee! Woohoo! Woohoo! I'm a birdie. I'm a raptor. I'm a pterodactyl. Anything you... Well, any animal you want me to be. Very tiny chat. Been there, says Lit. Yeah, you uh, stream from your phone, don't you? So the chat is very tiny. Oh, someone left a stink cloud. Fart cloud. Oh, I can't see what's going on. There's a fence in my way. Just punch the cloud until stuff happens. We are. Oh. We and glide. Take that, fat boy. Those fat ones still really annoy me because of just how often they actually jump and manage to hit you out the air even though you're mid attack. Oh, that one died though, so I'll take that. Yep. Oh, and Beth is playing Stardew Valley. I appreciate the lurk, Beth.
Oh, hang on. Ben's here. Hello, Ben. Why does Robin have a sword? He doesn't have a sword. That's his staff. His... The other Robin, which is... Uh, Damian Wayne carries a sword around. Because he's a he's the bad Robin. He kills people. Yep. Hey. Okay, so grab this, grab that. Alright, see if I can cheap out. Uh, oh no, hold up. Yep. And glide. Oh, there's Catwoman. Knock her off. Take an extra life. <laughs> Right, now here's another issue I have with the game. The bosses were very, very aggressive. Thankfully, the AI is helping out here. But, where's the block? There it is. Watch. If I block, you'll see See how quick she's attacking me. Giving me no chance. I had to rely on Robin to help me there. I covered that in the video as well. But we win. Thanks, Robin. You're a team player. I can't wait. I'm sorry. I really want to get to level 40 in the mines today. <laughs> well, you're meant to be playing with us after the stream today as well. Beth, if you're still up for it. A staff. He a magician. Uh, magicians don't have staffs. They have wands. Wizards have staffs. Ask Gandalf. And now we play the bonus level. We are in Spain as I turn into a bull and run everyone over. No one runs though. They're just like, no, kill me. Kill me. Kill me next. I've always wanted to be gored by a bull. Whee! If I can hit 50,000 points to get an extra life. We're nearly there. 41, 42, 46. There we go. Extra life for me. But how far can we get to 100,000? No, oh, we're not too far away. And guess who's just turned up? Hello. Say hello to chat, babe. They love you. I just did. I don't know. Did you hear, Aka? Kizzy says she needs coffee. Kizzy's here, by the way. Hello, I don't drink coffee. <laughs> it's true. We're drinking fancy hot chocolates at the minute. Mm -hmm. Beth heard you. <laughs> Gandalf, so wise in the ways of wiseness. He is indeed wise. <laughs> and gay. Well, the actor is anyway. I don't know about Gandalf himself. Anyone know what the name is for a phobia of clowns? Because this could help cure it. You're beating the shit out of them to death. Kill them to death. Kizzy says hello. Kizzy. And Lit is barking at you. Yeah, I'm confused. It's just a mash of colour and men. There we go. I'm a bear. Funny enough, I actually recognise that bear. That's from an arcade game I've yet to review. But I will. I have to take an hour break at four, though. Well, we finish at four, Beth. That's when John finishes work, if you call that, yeah? Is there a party? Is there cookies? Do I gotta bring cookies? Says Lick. The fox obsessed with cookies. You stay up here to avoid the penguin. There he goes. Hey, Danny DeVito. Don't know why the Joker's van is here, though. Don't do it, attack! I'm a raptor, big raptor. And here's everyone's favorite, most notorious DC villain, Kite Man. I used to date Poison Ivy at one point if you watched the Harley Quinn animated series. I have not though, but I've heard good things about it. Yeah. Woo. 
people are talking in the chat, but I can't read it yet. I'm in the middle of uh, a life or death situation featuring a man who likes to fly with a kite, and he's a villain. He's worse than Lex Luger when he stole those 40 cakes. That is actually a legitimate plot line from one of the old Superman comics. Superman stops Lex Luger from stealing 40 cakes. And we win! Alright, what did chat say? I feel that a mash of colour and men, the best description of a very weird party. Kite man, how original. He is. Oh, there's Aka in the chat. She has the energy of a wasted sloth at the minute. That's always. Look at me. I'm a panther. Or a cheetah? I don't know, I can't see my spots. Another issue I had in the video with these car levels was not being able to attack backwards. And then whenever you do kill a enemy, their corpse can still hurt you. And if you shoot, and you can jump, not too much of a problem. But Beast Boy, you can hear me tapping it, clearly cannot jump and can only melee attack. So I'll attack this guy. Watch. Oh, well I managed to get, the, get out of the way in time, but see how risky that was, because I could have been hit by his corpse on the way back. I hit this one, hold up. Yeah, there you go, that one hit me. It did a tiny amount of damage, but it adds up. Oh, I can jump backwards, that's interesting can dodge backwards on the road. Did not know that. Any more villains? Because I don't want to look at chat. Because the minute I do... There we go. See? I was right. The minute I look at chat, Big Baddy turns up. But it's Penguin, and I'm just going to keep jumping on his face until he dies. Got him. All right, what have we got? In the chat, what does it say? Mike's here. Hello, Mike. It's... Don't speak with food in your mouth, Blit. It is always maybe... Maybe not have that energy. Uh, I don't know what chew means, Aka. That is true, I don't think Lit knows what Q means. Right, who should we be next? Anyone want to see a particular character? We've got Jay Garrick Flash, we've got Black Canary, Green Arrow, Robin, Nightwing, Starfire, Raven, Beast Boy, we just had, Jesse Quick, Huntress, Superboy, Supergirl, Steel, or Shaquille Steel, as Nathan would call him. Eradicator, Leonardo, yeah, any of the Turtles, Maul, I wish we had Master Splinter though. Warblade, Spartan, Spawn. Atom. Lit wants Atom. Okay. Where is he? Atom. Atom. There he is. Atom! Let's get small. And away we go. As a tiny, tiny man. Defeat all. There's your objective. It's a good thing someone decided to just leave floating letters nearby. And Superman is helping me, I've just realised. The most overpowered super hero in all of comics. And yet they keep rewriting his story. Whoops! Did not mean to do that. I need to know. Well, yeah, I do know you've got... Oh, I can double jump. That's even better. Because regular characters can't jump up this little platform with a regular one. They've got to double jump or they've got to super jump. Which makes it hard. Whoops. Hang on. Did I see that right? Did, yeah. His duck is just to shrink. Ha! <laughs> I like that. Early up. And take that extra life. I have a gun. And now for the penguin. 
Penguin is very irritating in this one because he's an uncharacteristic boss. Would you expect the Penguin to be a kind of boss that can jump around as if he's a tiger? Well, he does here. See, look, there he goes. Oh, look. Now it's a case of just trying to get a hold of him. Although I managed to do it there just by sheer luck. And then he jumps away. And he hits me umbrella, jumps away again. Disappears, hits me umbrella, jumps away. Because he abuses that one frame bullshit. Superman's almost dead. Superman lost to the penguin. That would be a huge ego boost and destroyer to two different people. Also, look how... See that again? How aggressive Penguin was just then. Three strikes in a row. Couldn't even hit back. Look at this. See? Look. See how quick Penguin's firing. The minute I stand up to try and hit someone, I'm dead. We win though, because I shrank down into a star. I don't know if that's a power the atom has. Yeah, atom with the power to get small. It's very small. And I will heal up. Needed that. Oops, wrong button. Do I like that attack? I should really off be showing off. Uh, I should really be showing off the powers more. So what is it? There's a jump. Yeah, there's a jumping super, a running super, a standing super, and a grapple super. So, standing grapple. Let's do that one first. Yeah, that's the pistol. Then there's the running one where he shrinks. Jumping one where he shrinks again. And then the grapple one. If I can grab a hold of somebody. There. This guy? Yeah, this guy. Whee! Has anyone in the chat got a favourite? Well, yeah. Who's your most hated DC? Because you always ask, who's your favourite? But who's your most hated DC character? If you are indeed a DC fan. I think we won. Did we win? Let's see. Rip Superman. Did he actually die? I don't know. Dot car. Yeah, Kizzy. I think it's the car from the Tim Burton movie. He drives around a giant rubber duck. Oh, yeah. Superman is actually alive now. What? Now, I don't know if he died during the penguin fight, did he? Oh, here comes Burn. Which is weird because Bane is supposed to be Spanish. And while everyone memes the fuck out of that person's performance, I don't know who actually played Bane now that I think about it. Yeah. It's the wrong accent. It's like Scarlett Johansson has the worst Russian accent for a Russian secret agent ever. Oh, Superman died to Bane. But here comes the atom to save the day. Oh yeah, the dodge is a lot better as well. Well, it would be if he would actually do it. There we go. Dodge. Stay out of the way. Dodge. Dodge. Oh, he didn't do it. Dodge. Smack. Dodge. Shoot. Dodge. Shoot. Dodge. Shoot. Dodge. Shoot. And it's a never-ending pattern. Well, it will end when my energy runs out. Or Bane just walks into me. I'm just 
just keep punching his big thick thighs, but not as big as his thick arms until he dies. Oops, that was me. I messed up the pattern. Whee! Alright. Okay, that time he didn't dodge. Don't know why. Just not responded. And... Yeah. What the hell? He just fainted. But but that was that death wasn't my fault. If the character isn't responding to a button command, that's his dumb fuck attitude. Okay, I'll just juggle you to death. Yeah, go fuck yourself and die in hell and then get raped. Uh, let's see what else. I don't know. I don't like DC very much. Dodge, slap, dodge, shoot. DC's cheap fighting combo. Oh no, this isn't officially a DC game. Superman, what are you doing? Why are you moonwalking? I think he's trying to perform some sort of mating dance to me. Well, I'm very flattered, but as you can see, Superman, I'm flaccid. Yep, there we go. That hurt his feelings. He left now. But this is a fan-made game, Lit. This isn't officially a uh, DC game. Ah, oh, boy. Oh, I, thought, I thought I was dead then. Okay, so you can't block those. Good to know. I can try and duck under them, but I'm not entirely sure if the hit detection is that generous. Wasn't to him. Woohoo! Alright, well, that was extreme platforming there. Lying about on a bit of luck there, because I don't know what I was landing on. Alley up! Ah, I have a gun too. What do you think about that? Now you're dead. You fell. And he failed greatly. And we made it to the end with no issues. But now we've got a bigger issue. It's the Joker. He's just another. Oh, well, he's another overly aggressive boss. And you'll see just how often he shoots. And you can't really do anything about the chatter chief he sends out at you either. Chatter chief, chatter teeth. That's it, Superman. You do it. Just hold your breath inside the gas. You'll be fine. I'll keep firing my pistol whenever... Well, now I've run out. Juggle him. Run away because he's about to get up with a stink cloud. And then move away. Begin my shooting scenario. Scenario. My shooting technique. See who's the fastest draw between the Joker and the Atom. I think Superman's got this one. Go on. Yep, there we go. Joker has pretty much had his face caved in at this point. Let's see, Dodge that. The pain is almost euphoric, Sam, says Max. All right. I know what the quote is, but I don't know why you're quoting it. And the super clip has been casted. What super clip? Yay! Stage one. Well, stage two complete. I don't even remember finishing stage one. Next day in Metropolis. Will X update. It's Lois Lane looking very bored in her job. So this one is based on the DC story where Doomsday comes to play. Oh yeah, we have two different versions of Superman now. One with power, well, one with powers, one without powers. Also, I don't know if anyone's watched Invincible. I haven't yet, but that one looks like the character from it. And so does that one. There are also some costumes, let me show you. Where's Batman? 
So if we go through the costumes here, we've got all these recognisable colours, but then you might recognise that one as Terry McGuinness, and this one as Thomas Wayne, which is his dad. Now, as we all know, Batman swore an oath not to kill. His dad, however, did not swear an oath not to kill, and will very gladly kill people. Well, I say gladly. He couldn't give two flying props. He says that what in the chat? I just find up. The clip is in Discord now. Of Superman punching a guy in the face. I don't know, we were talking about pain and damage. Kill the peeps. We will kill many peeps, Dizzy, don't you worry. We'll kill it as angry Batman. What's that storyline called? Flashpoint. Where the Flash goes back in time, saves his mum from dying, and then the world turns to shit. Imagine being in that situation. I went to save my mum, but because my mum's alive, the apocalypse happens. Well, it was an apocalypse through war. Atlanta and the Amazons go to war. Well, Atlantis, not Atlanta. Yeah, the state or city of Atlanta goes to war with Amazons. Kizzy will find that funny. And here's Dr. Polaris. He's actually one of the easier bosses in the game because he's easy to read. He throws fur, well, he throws dust bunnies or whatever those are at you. Hello. I'm being petted. Kizzy said, well, I was zoned out. Why was I mentioned? Oh, because I was telling the story of Flashpoint, where the Amazons go to a war with Atlantis, but I accidentally said Atlanta. So imagine Atlanta City, or state, or whatever it is, going to war with Amazons. So look, this is Thomas Wayne. He has a gun, an actual gun. Gun that kill people gun, not gun that hurt people but not kill gun, like Batman does because he's a puss. <coughs> also, I didn't see, his EP gone to feast? Good man, Robin. You keep him in the corner so we can beat the shit out of him and shoot more people. I'm being petted. I thought I would. I thought it was just something humans do to animals, not to other humans. EP is feasting, and Kizzy dropped a banana. Oh no, babe! Kizzy dropped a banana. Oh, no. Did the piggy steal it? Who's Meryl? Oh, it's the other Green Arrow dude. Where am I? Oh, there I am. Right, I thought I respawned in with tiny health. I was wrong. I was doing my ultimate. Oh, not helpful game. There we go. I think it's just my laptop that causes it to freeze a little bit. Oh, well that was a cheap death. One just jumped in from a roof and I had no way of telling he was going to land on me. Yep, and death for you all, because I am the angry killing Batman. Thomas Wayne. <laughs> Still don't like how overly aggressive these bosses are, but I got him. Oh, was his name Merlin? Did I misread that? Let's have a look. Uh, don't test a clumsy ass like myself, says Kizzy. Oh, there you go. Kizzy's being consulted. Is that when you cheer someone up? Is it called consulting? She's being cheered up by Akka in the chat. It's just a table, banana. Banana! Oh, shit. Yeah, that's another thing. I have bombs that I attach to people. Behold. Oh, no. Behold, I killed a man by burning him alive. Yours. 
Oh, yeah, Reverse Flash. This is one of my hated bosses as well. Because he's just difficult to actually get a hold of. Because, look, shoot. Went over his head. Shoot. Got him. You'd think the Flash would be able to outrun a bullet. Bang. Bang. Oh, I can jump over it. Oh, but he didn't turn around in time. Hacker's breaking the cutlery. See, I'm used to being able to press jump in the air to recover when I get knocked down, but you end up just gliding. So that's a bit off-putting. See, now I'm not even sure I'm hitting him at all. I'm not. You cock end. You deliberately waited then when I was in the air. So much for having a pattern to watch. This is still one of my most hated bosses because it's just so ridiculously cheap and poorly fought out. And there's also the fact that sometimes your character will not turn around so you can hit him back. The fact that I have to rely on doing this, which makes it a bad boss. There's no way to like stun him in his tracks or whatever. You just have to shoot and keep jumping. Death. Okay, and why did that one miss? No reason. Game's just an arsehole. But, <laughs> fun fact. Thomas Wayne is actually the one who kills Reverse Flash by shooting him in the head. So that's canon. Uh-oh. Did we offend Kizzy again with our terminology, babe? Cutlery. Cutlery? You mean dishes? I have so much to teach you, Brits. What, because we've got the superior language? Is that what you're on about, Kizzy? She's just complaining about words. Cutlery is like spoons and forks and stuff. Yeah, that's what we said. That's what we meant when we uh, <coughs> said cutlery. All right, Lit, you chose the last superhero. Kizzy, your turn. Choose and superhero. And if you don't know who any of them are, just choose the one who you're more likely to sleep with. See, you're laughing, but it's a viable way of choosing something. Oh, there's loads of aliens. Look, Star Sapphire is an alien. Beast Boy is an alien. Beast Boy's an alien. Why do you think he's green and can turn into animals? I don't know. I've never really thought about it. Uh, Superman's an alien. Uh, Lobo's an alien. Star Sapphire is an alien. Darkseid's an alien. Martian Manhunter is an alien. Oh, she's getting mad at me now because I called her out on her kills. <laughs> See, she even said it right there, babe. Look, is there an alien? <laughs> uh, I forget what this one's called, but he's an alien. But yeah, there are plenty of aliens. Which one would you like, Kizzy? Star Starfire, all right. Ooh, black Starfire. Pink hair Starfire. We're gonna go black Starfire. Oh, bonus stage. Using green, well, flaming hair with green fist of pain. I 
don't even know if she has that. But, well, she can shoot green stuff. But I don't know whether or not she can turn her fist into actual green fisting of pain move. Got an extra life. Yay. Up and down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. I have to think who we're going to raid today. Should we raid Ozzy if he's still on? Oh, dizzy spell. <laughs> Kizzy says hot. She thinks Starfire hot. Starfire is hot. And she got a hell of a strut. That's a confident woman right there. Look at that. But does she fight just as confidently? Yeah, she do. She do fight very confidently. But hey, what a miss. I like how they, they paired her up with Robin. Not Nightwing, because Nightwing is the adult version, and Robin is the teen version. And I think this is the adult version of Starfire. Why am I being attacked by spiky stone men in nappies? I think these are new. fly, right? Yeah, I can. They look like something out of Zelda. I just teabagged them both to grab those pickups. What? Disgusting. That steam pipe's new. It's got a good effect on that. Steam can be quite hard to replicate, but he's done a good job. Oh boy, what a freeze frame. <laughs> it was just Starfire spreading her legs. That one's for Kizzy. What are you drinking, babe? Right, what are you choking on, babe? <laughs> Tea. <laughs> this is where Kizzy goes. What the hell is tea? Ow, my face. My beautiful hot face. You just use the Bane technique on him. Nearly. Uh, we got him. Laser eyes straight to the balls. Psst. Oh, that's a big post there. One of my co-workers yesterday complained she didn't know any of the girls in Stephenville. Is that a show? I think she's talking about what's the word. Oh. Um, who were into girls even though I was in another room. I came running in and I was like, I'm half lesbian. What church you want, boo? <laughs> Heart of lesbian. I've never heard bisexual called that before. Alright, is there anyone else in the chat who would like to see a particular character? It's one of those things that only bisexuals can say about themselves. Like, you can't... If someone called me half gay or half straight, I'd be like, bitch, you wanna fight? <laughs> She's only thinking there's no lesbians because it's like Bible Belt, right? Like, oh yeah, they're all there. They're just in hiding. As soon as you find a gay in the Bible Belt, it's like a witch hunt. Burn the witch! Burn the witch! Is there a character you want, babe? I mean, you're not watching. You're currently farming. You've got... I'm in the chat. You're in the chat, yeah. Oh, we have to do the same. Uh, both are in. Who would you rather see? Harley! Mr. J! You wanna... <laughs> Don't you wanna rev up your Harley? <laughs> Did you choose Harley because you'd sleep with her? She is. 
There is actually, uh, she does actually have some really good comic covers, Harley. There is one where she, she's wearing this sort of, I don't want to say clay, porcelain mask. And it's like, most of it is covering her face, but one corner of it is broken to show that she's sad underneath and it looks really good. I have to try and find it. <laughs> Kizzy would sleep with Harley, she says. There is, uh, I've seen in a panel <laughs> of a comic once where Harley goes to, I think, Joker Con or something like that. But she goes into a room and there's a load of people dressed up as the Joker. But as you can imagine, because it's a comic, they're all hot guys dressed as the Joker. So she sort of just turns to the audience and goes, give me a minute. And then she goes in, shuts the door. There's a load of noises and she comes back going, well, why would I not sleep with all of them? At least she owns it. Yeah. Hey, I like to sleep around. So what? what she, wants, you know? she does. We do. Harley. Oh, but God. Margaret Robbie Harley cannot stand her. She doesn't know anything about the character to make her likeable. She just thought, well, she's hot and she's crazy. So I'll do things that crazy people do. They stick the tongue out of the side of their mouth, right? They do stupid grins all the time, right? That's what crazy people do. Except there's more to Harley than that. What else we got? Uh, bed cocoon. So warm, says Kizzy. She's a Kizzy burrito. Are there guinea pigs in that burrito? I think gays to tend... What? I think gays tend to come in herds. <laughs> they do travel in herds. <laughs> Have you not seen Gay Pride? It's just them migrating. <laughs> Ew. <What's> the, gays? <laughs> the gays, they do move in herds. now easy easy there we go and we're up we did it also look how manic well, look how like harley-esque her picture is down there and then look at joker that's too crazy for joker mark oh this is the thing that i don't know whether or not some people in chat will have an opinion on this who's the best joker for you a butt Thank you, whoever got rid of the bot. Smite them with the band hammer. Oh, yep, it was EP, just in time. What did you feast on today, EP? Hey, when we become famous? Oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Me and my friends walking past some older couple, old couple. Look at those gays! <laughs> oh, it's a rare sighting. Oh, speaking of gay, look what I just found, babe. D. Vitor is a supporter of gay rights. D. Vitor said gay rights, right? What? He said gay rights. He, rights. You know, he just put the rainbow flag in there. That's the phrase. He said gay rights, that's the phrase. Yeah, the phrase is known for like that. He just put gay rights, he just said gay rights, or he said gay rights. Bonk! Just bonked him on the head with a hammer. I need to look at Harley's powers, actually. Ultimate power? Bazooka, of course. She's got a bat. Or is he talking about Margaret Robbie? I don't know how uh, old. I mean, if you how how like, old? How far behind he is? If you're referencing those, look at those gal pals on like, her and Poison Ivy, right? We're all on the same page here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, Arkham Harley is the same Harley, she's just wearing a different costume. Aww. Woohoo! Whee! Butt slam! Butt slam! One more time. 
Butt Slayer. It's like Peach from Smash Brothers. Peach, Peach does not have thick booty, but she do know how to slam and back it up. That is very true. Holly's got a gun too. I need to do the grapple one. Uh, hang on, what's chat saying? Akka's pretty quiet if the game's louder than her. It's because she sat on her PC. She's over there. Akka is across the room. Yeah, she is. She she be doing a stardew. Because she still want that mushroom hat. Did you ever get that hat? You got the bin one. You got the conspiracy theorist hat. I got that on my other save file and I haven't managed to find it on this one even though I am now on year five. Five? Um, I'm still looking for the trash hat. Um, they do have mushrooms and seeds in the game. Though, but it's dry. What? Without a mod or is that vanilla? That's vanilla. Vanilla. Hey, look at that. Joker's cheaping out the boss. He's using that technique he'd use on me. You keep doing it, Joker. I'll just fire from back here. I'll be the sniper. Oh. Get back in there, Joker. I believe in you. What's that? Oh, that's you saying sorry for being antisocial. Not a problem. Just letting Zach know in case that... No, there is not an audio issue. Because he's laughing. I don't know why that, though. You're going to be more on chat than I am, babe. I've only got a tiny amount here, and I can't see it on the screen. We win! Harley and Joker save the day! I know. And Oh, she took her hat off. There is a comic. Uh, actually, it's called The White Knight. It's where Joker proves to Batman that... Well, it's his way of proving to Batman that Batman is just as insane as he is. And what he does, he takes this medication. Joker takes this medication, which turns him sane. And because he's sane, he like researches all this lore stuff. And basically puts convinces the almost entirety of Gotham, even like Robin and Nightwing and all that, that Batman is just a psychopathic, not a murderer, but just someone who attacks people. So they all turn on Batman. I, I don't think there ever... I don't know whether or not there is actually a, a canon thing that Joker has, which is a treatable condition. I think a lot of people just say he's mad, but in some comics, they've had psychiatrists come in and say he's not mad. Well, yeah, even then they've come up saying he's not psychopathic, there's nothing wrong with it. Which, and then in that particular comic, he freaks out when he says that because he's like, well, no, they're going to kill me. They're going to give me the chair. They're not going to put me in asylum anymore. So he beats the psychologist to get to death to prove that he is a psychopathic killer. Some very fucked up stories in DC when they allow themselves to do it. To be fair, says EP, being a psychopath doesn't mean you're mad. Someone can be a psychopath yeah. and completely insane. This uh, completely insane. This is the thing. It's like um, psychopathy and sociopathy are behavioural issues, not not um, not a not mental disorders, essentially. Yeah. Uh, what else? But White Knight, I've got it at home. I think uh, you might like it. I should lend it you, I think. Being a psychopath doesn't also necessarily mean you're a bad person. You Alright. You can be a good person and be a psychopath. That is true. It just means you have a lot of damage. EP, uh, it's your turn to choose a superhero. Who would you like? We've had Atom... Starfire, Batman, 
that was my choice. Beast Boy, that was an accidental choice. And who did you choose? Harley. Harley, yeah. Harley. I saw somewhere the most leading surgeons are psychopaths, says EP. I know that um, a lot of psychopaths are apparently just boosters, you know, like civilians and stuff, and I can't get them. Yeah. To be honest, I have a, I kind of think that like, on board of psychopaths, the way you treat them a lot. Oof. I don't think that's too into it. Like yeah, I said, oh, someone's redeemed a random useless fact. Hold on. Uh, carry on, babe, while I just pull up a fact. Like I said, just want to reiterate, being a psychopath doesn't mean you're a bad person. It's true. It just means you have a lack of empathy. Alright. Who redeemed that, by the way? Mush. Mush! Alright, Beth. Your useless fact is the largest bill to go into circulation in the US was a $10,000 note. So someone took Monopoly money and made it real. Wonder Woman, says EP. Fan of the patriotic stripper outfit. Although there is one here where she's wearing trousers. I haven't seen the Wonder Woman film, so I can't comment about them. But from what I've heard, the first one was good. The second one was ugh. The first one was good. I've not seen the second one. <laughs> Evie's like, trousers? Evil. Evil trousers. Did someone else just redeem again? No, Kizzy did. Uh, Kizzy, your useless fact is... Messages from your brain travel along your nerves up to 200 miles an hour. Not seen the second yet. First is surprisingly strong, although it has its issues. DC films tend to have their issues. And I was asking my big sister about this, and I think she did have... A, oh, we're in Atlantis. We're underwater now. I think she did have a point in her argument that she thinks that the reason the Marvel ones do better and the DC ones do worse is because Marvel's storytelling is grey, where DC's one is very black and white. I think, like, for me, it's that not so much with the last wave of Marvel films, since you know what I think is going like, What, Endgame and thing like that? Yeah. But I think, but, it's, um, I think with those, it's because the reason they're not as good as we'd like is because it's a very ambitious film at the end of an arc. So it's going to feel a bit rushed. Not just that, but it's also like one of the reasons I liked the Marvel, like the first and second. I'm in the individual jet. One of the reasons I like the first and second row of Marvel movies is because they didn't take themselves too seriously. Yeah. Like they weren't scared of making light of a situation, but of like Endgame just took that and just reached the heart. <laughs> She's still sore about Bucky dying. Bucky's her favourite. Best thing she's saving all her points that so, so she can redeem her facts. Also, EP, as you have seen the first Wonder Woman, is her invisible jet in it? And why is it an invisible jet? Can you read the chat for me, babe? No invisible jet. Well, okay. Kizzy's got five and a half K points. Yeah, we need to think of something better to, for people to spend the points on as well. Well, if we move in together, we could probably like spend a thousand and see Jormungandr on stream. Yeah, Asha wants to get a pet snake, so I think if she gets one, we might make it so that you can spend a thousand points and you can see Jormungandr. The titchy corn snake. He's very tiny snake. EP's got 20k, yeah, EP, EP, EP's got 20k points and he's voting for Snake Cam. Snake Cam. Fun fact, I knew, oh hang on, Kizzy's just stated a fact. I have so many points, don't know what to spend. Fun fact, I knew that I, because I had to learn from my psychology class. Oh, Artemis is here. Uh, profusely throwing my points at you so I can see Snake. We don't have the snake yet, but we will. Will you allow it? Yeah. Snake. Yeah, we'll have snake cam you if we move in together. Just have to um, get it used to. Oh yeah, you don't want to scare the poor little thing. Yeah. 
I punched a gorilla in the dick about four times in a row. That's in the game, that's not just a random useless fact. Four times in the dick. In a row. Oh, I got the truth lasso. <laughs> Her super attack is uh, woman kick. Amazon kick, actually, because she is Amazon. She is a. <laughs> they rewrite Wonder Woman's story so she's just an Amazon employee. But she can race around the world delivering parcels. Ah, but that's the climax of the film. She takes down Jeff Bezos. What else? Uh, hang on. Because he says, I don't have the extra cash right now. EP has spent... EP just gave us 30 bits. Thank you, EP. Won't get... Points won't help them without getting snack cam. Bits, bits will. Thank you, EP. They will go to treats for your Mangander. Although, we still have to yet decide on a, a name for your snake because you were saying Jormungandr or Dovakin. Dovakin. I'm probably going to go with Jormungandr. I think most people that I mentioned this to are just starting to call it Jormungandr. Please call it Jormungandr. Oh, Mike says Wonder Woman's jet has five different origin stories. Wonder Woman is just the top gear of jets. Oh, I have a sword. Wonder Woman! Do you ever see the old series or like a gif of it how Wonder Woman turns into Wonder Woman? She just T poses and spins in circles. And then the music would just go, Wonder Woman! Bitch, I did it first. Well, actually, no, she did it first because it's an old show, but Sailor Moon did it better. Japan did it first, Japan did it best. Yeah. That's just my guess. It's probably because, well, hmm, I was going to say, but I don't know if it's factually accurate. Maybe it's because Japan doesn't use Twitter, which is why they do it best. Because they all love boobs. Twitter does not. Twitter hates women, they just like to say it differently. <laughs> where we get sued by Twitter now. Yeah. I can't say, unfortunately, Japan does have Twitter, yeah, but I don't think Japan gets as angry on it as anyone else in the world. There's a lot of, like, Twitter Puritans that get angry at the design of anime characters and Japan's response is always, fuck off. I see. However, Japan just doesn't give a fuck about people's complaints and they just do what they want. Sometimes that's good, sometimes it's not. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it's not so great. Yeah, like, ooh. It's just thinking about it. There's a lot of rape in Japanese stuff like implied rape or applied intention of rape or actual attempts of it and I'm like ugh General Wade Ailing don't know who this is Mike will though because he is a big comic fan I'm gonna hit him with my sword though straight in the dick and then punch it straight after for good measure Oh, look at that. I can do the Dragon Ball Instant Translocation. Behold. I think Mike's the only Dragon Ball fan in the chat right now, though. And Artemis kicked him in the dick. Well, no, she shot him in the dick. There's a lot of dick shots going on with these two female characters at the minute. It's because they know where to strike. The owner of man's weak point. And my phone's frozen. I can't see the chat. Oh, no, there we go. 
Kizzy's been posting shorts of her piggies on YouTube and my boyfriend got annoyed. I kept sending him the links to the videos. EP, if we want to talk about like the bad parts of Japanese culture, we need to talk about the insane rate of overwork. Yeah. Like, that is probably the worst one. What else does Chat say? There's one where she built... Oh, Mike's saying... Okay. The jet's origin. There's one where she built the jet and another where the jet is a sentient alien. I mean, having an AI on a ship which is actually an alien is probably worse than Jarvis. But not the gems. <laughs> Am I wrong? The gems is in the crystal gems for receiving yeah. universe. Did they ever turn into a jet? No, but they made uh, like spaceships and stuff, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, like, I know what you mean. Okay, is that not Transformers, though? Can I fuck the sentient alien jet, says Kizzy. Absolutely. You do you, bae. Well, if you can find a hole, it is invisible, so you are going to have to do a bit of touchy-feely. Of course someone wants to fuck it, says Kizzy, and she goes, yeah. She loves her some alien ass. Whee! And now I'm back to beating up gorillas. Fists out for Harambe. <laughs> I know, sorry. Why does that guy look like Guile? Well, he's dead Guile now. Also, Wonder Woman looks buff in this. Uh, she's not like steroid muncher buff. Why do I get a feeling Kizzy might like the Mass Effect aliens? Uh, it wouldn't surprise me. There was a lot of alien sex within that series. Why do our streams always devolve into sex, babe? I know. Let's pr protect poor young Lit. Although he is 16, so he is of legal consent age. But still. Do you know, I've always found that weird. You can, In the UK, you can legally have sex at 16, but you're not allowed to view oh, adult content until you're 18. Only with other 16 and 17 year olds. Oh, okay. But even at that point, what? You're allowed to have sex, just don't keep your eyes closed. Well, it's kind of a case of if you Abstinence. And the very easy, easy reasoning for that is the minute you ban something, the more appealing it is. Exactly, but it's also like they also don't get proper education about it. Whereas over here, the education is perfect. But by saying to 16 year olds, okay, you can, but we need protection. Yeah. We need what Oh, Sigax is here. In Australia, they're going to make a consent app. What's that mean? Also, hello, uh, Sigax. Welcome to the stream. How are you? In Aus what console this is on. It's on his laptop. Yeah, no, this is a fan-made game. This is a fan-made game you can download, Sigax. Uh, ooh, I should probably get the link for it. Do, do you want the link? Also... Apparently, there is some weird stuff that happens in Australia. Um, like, apparently, and I don't know how true this is. I've only heard a bit of the story. Apparently, a load of male students in schools across Australia were forced to stand up and apologise for being male. I don't know how true that is, because that just sounds completely ridiculous. Yeah, but if it's true, fucked up things do happen. I think I also heard something about a curfew for men is being debated as well. That men have to be home by 6pm. 
Oh yeah. Oh, there you go. So Gak says uh, it's true. Oh, thank you, EP, for the link. Uh, so Gak says, are you from Australia, Sir Gax? We went from sexual perversion to politicalness. <laughs> I know. Apologize for being men. Yeah, that's what happened, Kizzy. And Sir Gax is from Australia. What time is it for you there? Out of curiosity. Oh, I need to... Oh, God. All right, I'm about to go back on the sex talk. I'm about to tie up a monkey. His face... His face likes it. It's Gorilla Grodd. Grodd, Grodd, Grodd. Come here, gorilla. Oh, I knocked him out of the air. Whee! Come on, dodge. I'm pressing dodge. Do the thing. Do the thing. Right, I'm sorry. I'll pull my sword out. Yeah. I need to get some distance from them now. Rod's supposed to be like the villain from the Flash series. So it does make me wonder, like, them pitching the idea. Like, okay, so we got the Flash. He's the fastest man alive. Who would be his rival? A psychic talking gorilla. He likes to hop around a lot, according to this. He really is. Come on, get with it, everyone. How could you not think of that? Chat say, uh, apologize for being men. Oh, Sagak so says she had to apologize for being white men and 11 p.m. curfew. Oh, it's 11 p.m. for his time. Right, okay. Wow, pretty late for him then. To be fair though, ideas like that will never go mainstream. They're batshit. Most people can see that. Yeah, it's true, but I think it's just how do people come up with these things in the first place and think they're a good idea? Like children. Who'd want a child? They are. They tie up a gorilla again. Oh, Artemis died, by the way. She died to psychic gorilla. What a way to go. He didn't even die properly. He died stood up like a true trooper. Wonder Woman! She got the sass pose. She got it down. Right, so consent app is like Tinder for sex. You gotta swipe right on both ends. It sounds more like a booty call app at that point. The prisoners are rioting. We need backup now. All right, Sergax, would you like to choose a character you'd like to see fight? We've got Superman. We've got Superman with no powers. We've got Wonder Woman. We've had Wonder Woman, though. We've got Aquaman. No Jason Momoa costume yet, though, but maybe in the future. We've got Batman. Both regular Batman, Thomas Wayne Batman, and Terry McGuinness Batman, or whatever his name is. We've got Martian Manhunter, Cyborg, Green Lantern. Catwoman. We do not have Catwoman, funnily enough. She's one of the bosses, but she's not playable. Uh, we've got Green Lantern, Parallax, Green, uh, that guy whose name I can never remember, but big pink ugly alien. Flash, Vixen, Zatanna, Artemis, Shazam, Red Tornado, Plastic Man, Atom, <gasps> Black Lightning, Hawk Girl, Hawk Man, Wildcat, Jay Garrick, Flash, Black Canary, Green Arrow, Robin, Nightwing, Starfire, Raven, we've had Beast Boy, Jesse Quick, Huntress, Superboy, Supergirl, Shaquille O'Steel, Eradicator, any of the Turtles, any of the Wildcats, Spawn, Lobo, Red Hood, Black Manta, and the rest. I, I can't, it's hard to breathe when I'm listing this roster. Black Canary, okay, where did she go? There she is, and Black Canary. Three is a bird. 
dressed in the B movie costume. <laughs> e even EP said that. Breathe, goddammit, breathe. I got a Motio bike. If I hit 400,000, I get an extra life. I got the extra life. Are you proud of me, babe? Yay. What time is it in the UK? Right now, it is quarter past two in the afternoon. And I had lunch about fit, uh, well, I had lunch just shortly after you left. It's quarter past two already, fuck. Time flies when you're entertaining those you love. Oh, Green Arrow's helping us. They're, they're banging, you know, babe. They fucking. Green Arrow and Black Canary. They fucking. Although she has the power of screen. Can you imagine what she sounds like at Climax? Breaks all the windows. It's 8am in the US. Oof. Uh, I just had a packet of crisps because I had a satisfying breakfast. Of toast. Still got pizza I need to eat yet actually. We got a uh, pizza hut, or as we like to call it, pizza slut, last night. The thing is, I was very disappointed because they're not doing the KFC pizza anymore. And I was sad. So I stuck with ooh, plain, well, not plain pepperoni. I ordered four kinds of meat because I am a carnivore. Oh yeah, I forgot Black Canary's got wrestling moves. I think she does a Horikarana. Well no, there's a German suplex from the front. Well that's a belly to belly, technically. What's she got? Uh, to be honest, I feel like you made a woman scream enough that she broke all the windows. You'd feel like it did. you'd do a good job, says EP. And yeah, you'd take it as a sign of accomplishment. Yeah, but she broke it. I think Black Canary is one of the better characters in this game because of the moveset she's got. A lot of interrupting moves, which is good in a game where the characters are overly aggressive. I didn't see what her ultimate was. Hang on. Yeah, there it is. Just screaming. Her versus Sindel from Mortal Kombat. Who would win? Also, babe, something I figured out. What I say figured out. Something I heard, and I'm not entirely sure it's true. You've seen the Disney Hercules film, right? Apparently, Meg is supposed to be the Disney princess with the realistic proportions. I don't know. Doesn't look it. Uh, uh, Sagak so said, heard, heard the Mortal Kombat movie is really good. Don't know what people are going to go see it. Don't know how many people are going to go see it. If it is, Sindel is a scary chick. She do indeed be scary chick. I've heard mixed things about the Mortal Kombat film. I haven't seen it yet. But I'm hearing some people say it's just as bad as the first one. I'm hearing people say it's dumb, violent, fun. And... <laughs> I've heard some people say that the actor who plays Kano carries the film. But, obviously, opinions are subjective. So I can't say for sure for myself until I... Uh, oh, good one, Green Arrow. He's killed people. Until I've seen the film myself. Also, Kizzy, she likes to fuck aliens. There's a few characters in that she'd like to fuck. We got... We still can't go to the cinemas in the UK. It was filmed in Australia because of COVID. Oof. Australia. I need to scream. Did it. I did the thing. I did scream. Also, here's a character I don't recognise, Guardian. Mike, if he's still in the chat, will know who Guardian is, because Mike is the kind of person who can tell you what colour underpants a superhero is wearing on a certain issue. 
and whether or not it was a misprint or not. Marvel going to film next five years in Australia, I heard. Well, they've already stolen one of your, your Australians to film uh, four. And Ghost, well, he made eight. Well, he starred in a Ghostbusters film. Although there, apparently there is a can canonical third film coming out called Afterlife for Ghostbusters. So that, uh, that might be pretty good. Apparently it's supposed to be Egon's kids. Although I don't know. Were you a Ghostbusters fan, babe? Mm. Woo! Also, side question. Can you think of another hero that isn't Black Canary that fights in fishnets? Maybe a villain. You're saying Hawkeye would fight in fishnets. <laughs> yeah, are you saying that because of the Hawkeye initiative or whatever it was called? Yeah. Where everyone drew smut of Hawkeye. May 8th, original Ninja Turtles movie coming out on Netflix. Ooh. We got Ninja Turtles there in this game as well. The part of the uh, Panic on Infinite Earth storyline. I don't know whether or not they are actually owned by DC at the minute though. Oh, it's Parasite. I know that guy. He likes to suck people. Well, that's the vague definition. What he actually likes to do is suck energy out of people. So, a Twitter user. In case you can't tell, I hate Twitter. Twatter, as I call it. Whee! Power bomb! Power bomb! Fuck out! Oh, he died. Her hubby, whatever he is to her, I don't know whether or not they're dating or officially fall and chained each other. Is chat saying anything, babe? I need to block. Oh yeah, I've seen that. It's like an homage to the original games. Looks pretty good. Oh yeah, Zatanna. DC's answer to Gambit. Oh yeah, Duff is also the guy who came up. You might... Well, I don't know if you'll appreciate this, babe, but chat might. Can you name an actor who starred in both a DC and a Marvel film? Ryan Reynolds played Deadpool in the Green Lantern. Uh, Halle Berry played Catwoman in Storm. Ben Affleck played Batman and Daredevil. But I don't think you're a comic book. But, well, you're Marvel more than DC. Oh, Parasite. Oh, that's a good attention to detail, actually. Parasite heals if he manages to land a hit on you. Because that's how he works. What? Superman? Oh, Cyborg Superman just flying in from nowhere. Yep. EP goes, welcome to the Spectrum. Oh, I didn't hear the notification, but thank you, Sega, for following. How strange. Why didn't the noise come up? Florence Kasumba. Most people won't know that, though. And who does he play, EP? Florence Kasumba. Oh. Huh? Alright, so who's not had a choice yet? 
Uh, Mike, are you still there? Is there a particular hero you'd like to see me play as? She's one of the warriors in Black Panther and an Amazon in Wonder Woman. Oh, okay. Wakanda forever! Flash, says Mike. Ah, which one, Mike? Uh, Bar the Flash called Barry or Jay Garrick Flash? I can't remember what this... I can't remember what this Flash is called. Barry something. We'll call him Barry Scott until I get corrected. You see the new fan-made Metroid Prime 2D game. Ooh. I have not, Sagax. Who's made that? Funnily enough, I, you know what? I should probably play a Metroid game on stream because I've never played one. We don't need no colander wearing Flash. <laughs> All right, so he wants Barry. <laughs> we'll be playing as Tron Flash. Oh, wait, what time is it? How long have we been streaming for? An hour and a half, right? I'll do this level, and then we're going to test out the other modes. But so far, there's been no bugs, so Steve Beto watches this on YouTube. He's uh, done a pretty good job keeping it bug-free. The Museum of Ancient Artifacts. <laughs> Whee! Oh, bugger. Oh, you bastard. Ah, ah. He's fast, and he's hard to control. Ah. Oh, he also can't super jump. He just dashes. Oh, shit. I, I grappled someone without trying. Oh, I haven't got my super. Hold on. Uh, yeah, I'm trapped. I'm trapped by many things. It was just a, a mound of men. No homo. I heard you giggling. <laughs> No comment. As someone who's not experienced it, I can't say. <laughs> he says, like, being beaten or not, it's just nice to be held. Zbitor, for those of you who don't know, also has a Marvel game he is currently developing. Well, he's got quite a few at the minute. He's got a Mortal Kombat one, which Matt McMuscles recently covered, and I've reviewed it as well. Uh, but that's still in development. He's also got a Marvel one, which is released, but is still under development because he's adding new characters and stuff. Oh, Cyborg Superman. Because that's not unusual. Oh, yeah, Flash doesn't block. He has a dodge. A very precise Dark Souls kind of dodge you have to pull off. But yeah, he's got a Marvel one which he's working on and I'm going to be playing that on the stream eventually when uh, he's gotten it to a more developed point. He's got a Dungeons and Dragons one based off the old cartoons he's working on which I'm going to be excited to play though the beta for that one is not ready yet. Another one? Oh yeah, he's got a few 2D fighting games as well but those aren't really my kind of thing. Ah. Whee! Bonk. And I died. I'm back. Missed. Wrong. You're not gonna punch me off. But again, the main problem I've got with these this game is that the bosses are massively aggressive. Give you no chance to fight back. Right, look at this. How am I supposed to reach him as well with a character that's got no ranged attack? And they also abuse the one frame thing to shit as well. Like the very first frame of animation you get within them, they just attack you. Input reading as well is also a uh, cardinal sin that's in this game. What does chat say? Uh, Akka likes the idea of a mound of men, says EP. Team SCU made the second fan-made 
Metroid game. I may have to have a look at that and then compare it to an actual Metroid game because I would like to play a Metroid game. I, but I think I'd probably make a charity stream out of it. I have to think of a charity though. Uh, someone I know called Veggie Gamer is currently. Oh, we can move back. All right, yeah. Then I'll fight him on more even ground. So a Veggie Gamer is currently doing a, the Blue Cross pause for play, so he's playing for the benefit of dogs. And punch Superman in the dick. All right, cool. Says the gap. Someone's going to be half AK. Something about a flamingo. EP says he's going to be half AK. Will be here but muted some of the time. Going to assassinate Sierra Knox while wearing a flamingo costume. I get it. I get the context. Oh, Hitman. Hitman. You get the context too. You haven't even played it. Alright, so uh, that's the story mode. At least somewhat tested. But I want to show off the other modes this game's got right now. And have a mouthful of refreshing, non-brand specific, because I don't want to get sued. Pop. You can get sued for anything brand. It, yeah, it depends. You can be sued. Well, it depends, because it could be the, the bot they have on the site to detect whether or not there's a copyrighted brand in your video or not picks up on it. And it could be that you're reviewing it, but it goes, oh, they're talking about this product better get them in trouble or something like that and then you have to appeal it it's not well it's youtube and twitch but twitch isn't as bad they tend to look out for music more than anything uh let's see what else have we got if you want to do charity stuff he'd recommend a charity called mind oh i know mind yeah i've used them before very good mental health charity been doing a little fundraising for them recently oh very good ep and by fundraising, you mean poking people and saying, Oi, donate now or I will take your balls. I may have exaggerated some of that, but that's what EP said. Can you think of a charity we, like, we should play for, babe? Mm, there was one I used to donate to that was really good that helped the ocean, like putting plastic in the ocean. Mm. Really we should probably make a room in the Discord to... Uh, so people can suggest charities we can help. Because you want to do that ocean one. There was, uh, EP says we should do mine. There was one I saw that I wanted. Oh, Doctors Without Borders. That's what I want to support. That's a good one. I've heard of that before. All right, let's play the Streets of Rage mode. If Nathan was here, he'd like this because this is one of his favorite games. Evil has once again cast its shadow over the city. All two of them. Uh. What's that? <laughs> Sigax says, can you donate to my PS5 fund? <laughs> I'm afraid not, Sigax. Uh. Excuse me. I, I haven't even got a PS5 or an Xbox One. They're not available. But I know someone who's got his because he stole it. stole it. Well, I say stole it. It's because Mike just seems to have everything fall in place for him. Mike could find the fossils of a rare bone in his backyard. He's got that much ridiculous luck. <laughs> it was worth a try. All right. Uh, is there anyone who's not chosen a character yet in the chat who you'd like to see? Because we're playing Streets of Rage mode now. This is the mode that lets you go up to four players, but we don't have four players. Or if I think everyone's chosen a character, is there anyone who you would like to see who you haven't seen yet. Mike does indeed have... Yeah, Mike says he finds this offensive and then he goes... He ha But then Sega goes, he has some underground connections. I wouldn't be surprised. Alright, so chat, which character would we like to see? Out of all the available ones we have here. And I don't know if this is supposed to be the entirety of Streets of Rage or if it's just the first few levels. We'll try and find out in the hour and a half we've got left. Kizzy, if you're still there, which one would you want to fuck? Oh. 
All right, babe. I'm going to ask you to be a little bit of a pervert. Come on. So if you look at the Starfire model right now, if you look at her boobs at the top where the cleavage should be, does it look like she's got some sort of shirt on there? No. Like a flesh-coloured shirt? I'm trying to full screen it. It's dumb. Yeah. That looks weird. Yeah. I think it's because the model that ZV Tor has ripped to make this you might have missed that detail. It's not a big thing. Uh, I was just thinking, is it me? Am I the only one who can see that? And Eepy goes, we're looking at boobs. Yeah, why would we not? And I can see a tiny bra-like thing, says Eepy. Yeah, so it's not just me. All right, well, uh, let's see. Who else should... Uh, Jesse Quick, Huntress, Superboy... How about we be Shaquille O'Steel? Call me Steel. Oh, that's Shreem Alice. Right, I thought someone just posted a link. Right, so Shaquille... Oh, yeah. And for anyone who is asking, yes, that extra life is hidden behind this thing. It's all now. I've seen the Steel film. Was not good. See, I can't ever think my hammer hammer is meant to be bigger because right now it just looks like I'm playing croquet or water polo. Yeah. I can't imagine how clustered the screen's gonna get with four people on this because of the life bars. Mm. I imagine the dream teams you could make. Joker and Batman team up with the Ninja Turtles to take on this city. The entire city. The entire city. All of it. All of it that's fallen into evil. Fighting the same blonde and ginger men over and over again. What I would like to see someone do is just make a fan game of a beat em up where you go across all these different beat em up games like Cadillacs and Dinosaurs and Streets of Rage and Final Fight, but you can play as characters from all sorts of different series. So you could potentially have uh, like Mike Hagar from Final Fight, who is like the wrestling mayor. It's not a joke, he is actually a mayor who was a wrestler at one point. Although that happens in real life too. Yeah, Kane is the mayor of somewhere in uh, America. <laughs> but yeah, you could have Mike Hagar team up with Batman and... Oh, who was I thinking of just then? Mike Hagar, yeah. And then someone from Street Fighter and then Winter Soldier. And they all go and fight Amazons or aliens or something together. Because fan fiction will allow that to happen. Do you know there's a fan fiction where Simba teams up with the Avengers? It's true. A chicken. I'll eat a chicken.
So did you say that when we get Jormungandr, it's going to be a rescue snake? Right. And he's a corn snake, so he's tiny already. He's like the size of a pen. Yeah. Imagine what he's like he's as a baby. A pen. What? He's only a bit bigger than a pen. A bit bigger than a pen. Um, what's a good size comparison? I wonder how many people are going to make a dick joke now. He'd probably comfortably fit in this. We'd be about the size of an A4 sheet of paper. Maybe a bit oh, bigger. Um, no, if you just lie him out. Oh, As if he's like a gummy snake. We're talking lengthwise. Yes. Probably be a bit longer, maybe. Be a bit longer than a sheet of A4 paper. Oh, what's that in the chat? Now just sitting on a couch in flamingo suit waiting for Sierra. <laughs> An EP has inserted a dick joke. Not even made the effort. He's just said the action has been taken. <laughs> It's like a comedian going up on stage and go, I tell joke, you now laugh. <laughs> I was watching uh, Sean Locke talking about how different cultures will react to different things. <laughs> and uh, he was talking about in England, when someone drops a plate, everyone goes, Way! But in France, they go, Ugh. And in Germany, if you drop a plate, you're taken out the back and you're shot. <laughs> I think you're just focused on your game right now. There's a, there's a joke my dad used to say, which, uh, it was a bit of a sexist one, but it was all done in good humour. Um, he said, there's nothing more dangerous than a woman when she's angry, and women get very angry when they're wearing the same clothes as someone else. Can you imagine how dangerous they are in the army? EP was like, all I heard was someone going to make, someone's going to make a dick joke. So he filled the void with dick. Joke. Dick. So in the time me and Akira spent together, is it bad that I can think of maybe at least five ways now to annoy you? Yeah, I'm not... She says to the man who gets really angry at games and tells characters to go die, get AIDS and get raped. Yeah, but that's because I love you. You can't ignore me when what? Uh, I'm sure EP or someone might be able to... Mike will probably know a way. Because to annoy Akka, all I have to do is look at my hand and go, Steve? That's the same thing. Annoying and being upset can be the same thing. Ra oh, raises and cookies, that'll work. Yeah, fuck you, EP, and your strange dietary habits. Your incorrect ones. Oh, it's Solomon Grundy. I got an EP for a big message. I mean, there's a difference between someone being annoyed and someone raging, he says. Solomon Grundy. I don't know how that rhyme goes. Born on a Monday, something on Tuesday. What? Born on Monday, something and something. Married on a Wednesday. Prison on Thursday, died on a Sunday, something like that. I can't remember. Does anyone know how that rhyme goes? You probably never even heard of it, have you? Solomon Grundy. I just throw my hammer into his dick. Why is there so many dick shots in this game? I'm not even trying. Oh, someone knows it. That might be Mike. Hold on. CP. Solomon Grundy, born on a Monday, christened on a Tuesday. Married on a Wednesday, took ill on Thursday, grew worse on Friday, died on Saturday, buried on Sunday. That was the end of Solomon Grundy. I, could, I thought prison was one of the things. I knew most of it, but I had to Google to confirm, says EP. 
I'm now going to play the Joker. Oh yeah, so who's people's favourite Joker, if you have one? In the Joker mobile, Heath Ledger's a good one. Mark Hamill is one of the best. Yeah, that's Mark Hamill. Luke's, it's weird to think that Luke Skywalker can play a villain really well. It's weird to think as well he's also played Wolverine. That didn't go down so well because it was a game that... Well, I think Decent didn't sell well. I should review that one actually off of YouTube. Because I always wanted to give it a go. But I never played it. Maybe my mum wouldn't get it me. But now, thanks to the power of age and technology, I can. Too many cars. It's rush hour. Let me through. I'm the Joker. I'm the bad guy. Can you imagine if, like, in Batman, he's chasing him in the Batmobile, and then they just get stuck in a traffic jam, so it's like, ar, ar, come on! I'm sorry, Batman. Oh, he's got the crowbar, just like in uh, Red Hood. Did you also know that Bender has played the Joker as well? He's played a lot of things. But he's he not... Hmm, it's a few years old now, but he played the Joker in one of the Batman films. He was also um, the dog in the Yeah. It's not the first dog he's played as well, funnily enough. Jake, yeah, Jake. With... The power to turn into anything. Right. Yeah. That would be my ideal superpower to shapeshift, because then I can just turn into what I need. I need to fly. Become bird! I need to be scary. Become lawyer. <laughs> I'm miserable. Become better person. <laughs> Coconut balls to clarify. What? Now to poison a man with balls. <laughs> what? Oh, yes. Wait, EP, aren't those fish balls that you're on about? Doesn't he want, like, Florida man to catch fish and then serve him the balls? Honestly, though, the Hitman game, some of the stuff he can get away with disguising himself as. <laughs> Not just like silly costumes, but you can disguise yourself as like the only. Yeah, you. Well, no one questions that he's the only white member of an Indian street gang in India. At least he's not doing. <laughs> At least Hitman isn't going as far as to do like really bad accents along with his disguise. So he's not dressing up in a Chinese restaurant going, Asshole! There's a... Yeah, there's a lot of enemies that are aggressive in this one. Even the original straight Streets of Rage wasn't this bad. They all just try and gank you at once. And it sucks because you haven't got a way out of it. You can dodge, but not everyone has the right kind of dodge to get out of it. Well, they've got some sweet dance moves. Look at him go. Here's Sunny Jim. was a pathetic back kick. I hardly moved. Alright, who should we be now? Uh, let's be... 
Spawn. Keith David. Spawn actually, yeah. For those of you who don't know, in the comics, Spawn had a limited amount of magic he could use. Which is that thing above his head. And once it ran out, he would return to hell. But even in the video games, that was the case. You could use all your magic in the first level, and then in the rest of the game where you needed it, you couldn't use it. He kills Robert Knox with a flying swordfish. I will give the Hitman games this. There are very creative ways to kill people in them. What was my favourite? Well, well, I haven't played the third one yet in its entirety because I plan to stream it, but... Oh, what's, my bit, what's been my favourite kill so far? I think one of my favourite kills is where you convince him to kill his own daughter. Well, no, you don't convince him to. You trick him into killing his own daughter by making her race car blow up. But one of the funnier ones I've seen probably... Uh, is probably killing someone in the flamingo suit by kicking her down the vent shaft. EP just did that. He kicked someone down a vent shaft as a flamingo. You're a bad man, EP. This mode started off fine because it was a nostalgia trip, but now it's just suffering from the same points that the main game does. Enemies are too aggressive and all attack you at once. Which it seems to be a recurring problem with ZV Tours games. But it's still fun. It needs to be set. Oh, Kite Man's here. Kite Man made it into Streets of Rage. He's made the big time. Magic went down? Why? I didn't use any. I wonder if they'll try and make a spawn film again. Because they've made. I think there's been a fan made one which did okay, but wasn't great. And then there's been a series which also did okay. But I honestly don't know. I feel like that's just a problem with the type of game. It, that's No, no. Thing is, EP, if you play a game like Streets of Rage or Final Fight, you'll know that you'll be surrounded by enemies, but they don't all swamp you at once. Maybe, like, three at most will come and get you, and, the, and that's it. Oh, I'm playing Superman now. Fuck! But in this game, you get about, like, six or seven of them if there is that many. See, see how they all swarmed in to land a punch on me then, when, instead of just spreading themselves out. Oh, penguin. He's rubber deck. And then, of course... 
in those fighting games, in a good fighting game, you actually have a way out of it if you do get surrounded, which is usually those attacks that take some of your health away. But in this one, you don't really have that. You have a super move, but it only attacks on one side, and you can still be interrupted while you're doing it. Pirates? Make me think of that Moomin episode. Secrets? Secrets? <laughs> Just me. So for those of you who don't know, me and Aka, we tend to binge watch series in short chunks because she can marathon stuff and I can't. But at the minute we're watching Moomins, the old series. And some of the stuff that happens and some of the shit they say is just weird. Like, there's a character in it who, who's meant to be an intelligent character, yet he wonders if centipedes come from outer space. What else? Uh, what else did they say? Oh yeah, like the narrator went, and that's how the Moomins achieve this. And it's like, well, no, they haven't done anything. They're just walking away. It was that was how those two characters became permanent residents. Things like your favourite, I don't know if anyone in the chat, well, Mike will, because he's old enough to know, but I don't think anyone else in the chat, EP definitely won't know, because he lives under a rock. But does anyone else know what a Moomin is? Or what the show is? If they do, they'll probably know it from the 3D remake that's been released. The memes. So I think your favourite character in it is just Snuffkin. Because you think he's gay. Be gay, do crime. Be gay, do crime. That's where the whole thing started from. Like, everyone just putting that on pictures of Snuffkin. I was right, by the way. EP has no idea. EP doesn't know what Moomins are. Oh, EP's going to make a man kill his own daughter. <laughs> Context, but I know what he's doing. He's not just admitting to a crime on Twitch. Although, what a way to find out. <laughs> I have actually seen that on the Twitch once, where, well, I've seen it, the recordings of it, but not the actual stream itself, but there was a guy who was live streaming, and he got arrested at his house, on suspicion of whatever it was, and the, so he got arrested at the door, but because they took him away straight away, the stream was still going, so while he was away, somebody noticed that the policeman had left the front door open, so he went in, stole a load of stuff, and all the stri all the people in his chat just reported the guy straight away. <laughs> Confession completely confidential, says EP. I can't help but think maybe there's someone out there, a priest or whatever, who has tried to do live stream confessionals. Or a live service of confessionals. And it's just not gone well. Oh yeah, babe, as well. Sorry. Well, I'll ask this question to chat then. So someone recommended to us we do tier lists for videos because apparently they are controversial but also because I want to do one anyway have you got any ideas of what you'd like to see us do tier lists of because I'm thinking we get Akka to do a Pokemon one based on what they look like rather than well, what she knows about the Pokemon yeah but you don't know about like how strong they are I don't know 
Well, here's the thing. I don't know many Pokemon outside of the first generation, so we'd just be doing that. But has anyone got any suggestions as to what you'd like to see us do a tier list for? You want to do Stardew characters? Yeah, that was one of yours. You also want to do Invader Zim. I think Gina likes Invader Zim. I think she told me. Yeah, but she might not like it as much as you do. I don't think most people like it as much as I do. I think that's a challenge to Kizzy. Oh, we're in an don't HR Geiger painting now. Don't make me fight with my girlfriends. Hmm. <laughs> EP, go fuck yourself. He says tier lists of what raisins should be in. Everything will be in F. No, I've got one good thing raisins are in. You know me, I hate raisins, but malt loaf. Loaf. Malt loaf is good because you can't taste it. You can't go get the taste too often. Loaf. I never had malt loaf, and now there's raisins in it, I'm not going to plan to. No. No, before you say no, remember, no. I can't stand raisins either. But yeah. I do actually like malt loaf. It's a scarecrow. But no. Have you got any of that banana breath? Banana breath? Banana bread left? No. I think so. no. So you've got that video stuck in my head now. Loaf. 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 That cat looks so confused. Laser! Oh. Yeah, apparently he has to charge up his laser eyes, which isn't helpful. And punch... Scarecrow again. Well, that's how I, time I punched him in the knee, so he's the Skyrim meme. <laughs> EP's like, do it. Join the raisin side. No, fuck you and your raisins, EP. And everything they stand for. What should we do next? Who should we do next? Let's do Zatanna, the other fishneck stocking wearing superhero. She got a nice dance to her though. I'm trying to think what. That might be uh, Blaze or whatever she's called from Streets of Rage. <laughs> She hasn't got any magic cards though, which was one of her gimmicks. Like Gambit. But she's just actually using pure magic here. <laughs> Fireball! Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast. Is that Disneyland in the back there? Huh? Looking on the stream. Is that, is that Disney World back there? Oh. <laughs> and I think we should just come up with a new slogan, babe. It's there on the fence. It's like boo. When it's something scary, it's like, boo. <laughs> and then there's this one that says, da baseball. Oh, do baseball. Okay. Do it. Do baseball. Do thing. Julie, do the thing. Be gay, do crime. Julie, be gay and do crime. For those of you who don't know, that's a meme from the Moomins. Oh, okay. I'm assuming it's probably something to do with Moomin. Just because of the amount of times Pitchy Loves Nothkin would come up. <laughs> Shotgun. I have a shotgun in mine. I have all the guns hidden in this jacket because video game and comic logic. 
apparently Red Hood's helmet blows up as well because he has a button to make it happen. Imagine if the it activated too early while he was wearing it. Slight design flaw there. And now we're on to the baseball field where it's Bear 2 versus Bear 2. And in the <laughs> and the game is also sponsored by Audio. The rip-off Audible country, country, company. That's a big David Bowie knife I've got as well. David Bowie. You will never find your little baby. Chicken does not heal me all the way. That. <laughs> oh, hey, do you remember when we were watching... Um, no, say, we, have you ever seen that clip from Russell Howard where he's talking about that kid that's uh, angry that the nanny is throwing out all the bacon? He's like, let me tell you something. Bacon is good for me. And then the kid decides to, decides to leave home. And he's like, you push me to the edge. Most dramatic, like, seven-year-old, eight-year-old kid ever. But he talks like that. All the guns throw all the ninja stars. Ninja star. Ninja. What's the most silliest word you've ever mispronounced, babe? Yeah. I know. <laughs> I can't deal with pressure! I don't like change! Leicester Shire. Oh, As if it's from Lord of the Rings. Oh, What's the word? Oh yeah. Mumbai I mispronounced once. Is that Mums Bai? Mums Bai. They buy what? Uh, from Iceland. Bang, 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 ninja, ninja, ninja. I'll just, fine, I'll just keep shooting you because I am that kind of character. And walk away confidently into the wall. Uh, yeah, of course there's a hidden fight arena under the baseball pitch where Bane lives. Of course, everyone knows this. Oh. Come on, stand on my landmine. Do it. He actually broke it. What a bastard. Do it again. Okay, that time it blew up, it just unfazed him because Bane is big, thick boy. Big, thick Spanish boy. He is. Look at him. The steroid muncher to the extreme. Having never finished the first Streets of Rage game, I can't say whether or not any of these stages are accurate to the original source. But the ugliness of its inhabitants is on point.
Lex Luthor, not played by that guy with the long hair, whose name I can't remember. Do you remember? Cannot remember at all. Does anyone know what... <laughs> not Kevin Spacey, the other guy. Anyone remember what he's called? He was in the Facebook film as well. Let's be Cyborg Superman dressed in Soviet colours. Soviet. There is actually out at the minute a uh, Superman film where what if he landed in Russia instead of America. And he, apparently he's he's still a force for good in Russia but then the Americans have the evil Superman. And he's called Patriot Man or something like that. Oh, there's also Russian Batman in it and Russian Batman is a murderer. It's weird, and I kind of want to watch it, but at the same time I'll be like, I have no idea what's going on. Jesse Eisenberg, thank you EP. I wanted to say Jesse Eisenberg, but I thought, that's not right, is it? Eisenberg. Oh, wait, that might... Oh, no, it's because you both got the red letters. So that was Mike. Thank you, Mike. Go, 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 go. I'm surrounded by many fishmen. Wielding spears and blackjack and hookers. Forget the spears. But not the men. Because you need someone to blame for when it goes wrong. And I blame them. And then I run away out the back door. What? Oh, EP is green now. And here is Black Manta with the most ridiculous looking heads gear ever. It's just a fishbowl with wires on it. Though he is in the Aquaman movie, I think. Do you remember? What? Yeah, but he's a bad guy. His feelings don't matter. <laughs> but, but, I worked really hard. You, you actually, but I, I tried really hard and everything. How can you be so mean? Dude, you literally kill people because you are on a vengeance quest. But you don't need to insult my costume. Whee! And I got him. Not going to lie, was very tempted to change mine to green too, says Mike. And EP blames Chrissy. Told you EP that hashtag isn't going to catch on. Yeah. Meme. Meme humor. Oh, I wonder if Bizarro will ever make an appearance in this game. That would be cool. The Bizarro world in DC, babe, is very strange. Because it's like everything is the opposite. So you... <laughs> so you know, like, it's got little things like, instead of saying, I love you, you say, I hate you to say, I love you. Yeah. But then, the characters themselves are weird. Like, Joker is really depressed, and he's the world's saddest man. Uh -oh. Um, Batman hangs around in the alley where his parents are shot and shoots people in there. Uh, 
bat uh let's see bizarro flash is a very fat obese man who's very slow <laughs> Uh, let's see, Bizarro. Hmm. Bizarro Superman thinks destroying everything is how you save the day. Uh, let's see, what else is the Bizarro world? It's just a strange world. I think Bizarro Wonder Woman is very old. And she can't do anything because she's so weak. Can't think of any other bizarro characters. Me and Mike were playing. Big is big is the hero, so. Uh, me and Mike were playing Monster Hunter the other day. We are fighting a monster that had the biggest Thanos chin ever. It's not a good chin to have. It didn't have like the, the ball wrinkles on it. It was just very big. What else would you call him? Oh no, the testicle wrinkles. Nut chin. The nutsack chin. Oh, it's King Shark. Apparently he's bisexual and once dated Constantine. Can't say I know. Well, that's according to one of the animated films. Whether or not it is canonical, I don't know. I don't know. There are some animated films that aren't canonical, like oh, yeah, Russian yeah. Superman. Oregon's. Do you not like that film? Really? Why do you not like it? I've seen it. Why? A wife? Oh, that girlfriend that had the power to manipulate him by touching his skin. Or just touching him. Yeah, he had a girlfriend who had the mutant power of being able to manipulate men by touching them. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Deadpool was the worst part of that film. They made him Baraka Pool, as people called him. Yeah, there's a character from Mortal Kombat called Baraka, and his uh, gimmick is that his swords come out of his arms. Evie says one could say that Bizarro World is Bizarro. You could. You could, EP. But why? Why would you do such a thing? Although I did like in the origin film, you know when there's like unexplained immunity in some films. Is that at me or the chat? That's at you. Yeah. Um, the bit where she like, she's being held up by Sabretooth by the throat and she touches him and goes, let me go and it doesn't work and it's like, your tricks don't work on me. No explanation, they just don't. Sorry, my head is like, ha, joke's on you. They don't work on me. I'm gay. <laughs> you can manipulate straight men, but not any other. <laughs> Star Sapphire. Imagine, like, um, imagine if she did it on some guys and they just, it just didn't work. And they all just went to the front and said, Yeah. <laughs> like, oh shit, what is I am a crystal gem. Yeah, I'm playing as a crystal gem right now, okay? Or the equivalent of one, anyway. Star Sapphire. But she can make gems appear. She's a pink lantern. And I think the pink lantern power is love. Love! <laughs> the power of friendship! How many times have you... 
Like, is it just me, but are you sick of seeing a film where, like, the strongest magic is friendship? And it's, like, that sort of moral. I sat through the entirety of friendship is magic, and you're asking me that. <laughs> yeah, but was friendship actually magic? Because that just seemed like a subtitle. Like, there was actual plot points in that, in that series where, like, um, it wouldn't have worked if they weren't friends. So, yeah. Chat, am I the only one who's sick of seeing, like, this whole friendship is the best magic of all it depends, shit? It depends on the way it's done. Like, um, I can think of a few animes where that happened and I was just sat there like, what a fucking cock out. Yeah. But, like, it works in some cases. Like, in My Little Pony, it worked. The way they did it. But in other cases, it's like that's such a fucking cop out. Yeah. Oh, babe, look, watch the stream. He's a slime. Also, you pro you probably like um. What's it? He's made of clay, isn't he, on mod? Well, he's clay, but right yeah. now he's sliming his way across the floor. Uh, you probably like the new um Konosuba movie then. What? I said that um, I said that the villain uses the power of love and gets defeated. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> they made me laugh. Konosuba. It sounds familiar, but I don't think I recognise it. It's the one that's like um, a group of young people playing D and D, but anime. Oh. <laughs> Great. I'll be Superman with no powers. This will go well. <laughs> Because he uses guns instead. Yeah, I'm having a problem with this. Hmm. See, the clay face thing. He's obviously not able to hit. To be hit when he's in slime mode on the floor. And the only time you can hit him is. When he stood up. My issue with this is that. He has no attacks that can be blocked. And he's very hard to avoid. Because even if you do the dodge like just then. He turns ball mode and he still gets you. So there's no way to not get hit by this boss. This is just an exchange of blows, and that's not good boss design. Thankfully, Flamethrower to the gut seemed to work pretty well for that final hit. Zach, why do you have love and friendship? I think you mean, why do you hate love friend, love and friendship? Oh no, I don't hate love, and I don't hate friendship. I hate when it's being used as a cop-out. I do agree with that, like, I hate when it's used as a cop-out. Yeah. Oh no, a nuclear missile is coming! Quick, everyone, join hands and sing Kumbaya! That will save us. You just gave me, like, one of my favourite animes... Well, this is technically not something to do with One of my favourite animes... That's a mouthful. How, that was how, like, that was, like, one of the, the, the final art pretty much ended like that. It just pissed me off so much. It's like, I was following this manga for oh, hundreds of chapters, and for it to end like that, I was just there, like, <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> uh, I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> EP, EP's got a dirty mind. I says, I hate it when it's a cop out. He says, I hate it when it's a cock out. EP does hate cock. What did chickens ever do to you, EP? It's like Kingdom Hearts. That's all it is. You can have all the magic in the world. You can summon all, every demon monster you can in that series. But friendship will save the day. Yeah. There is a bit in the latest Kingdom Hearts, actually the third one, where there's a guy who... Uh, like, do you know the premise of Kingdom Hearts? Yeah. How you end up in Disney films sometimes. Yeah. There's one where you end up in Toy Story. Right. And Woody basically calls out the bad guy saying, Nobody loves you. Wow. Yeah. Wow, fucking harsh. Fuck. I'm like, damn, Woody. He's not wrong, but damn. Childhood strengthened. <laughs> Oh, 
EP says, are you surprised by my mind? No. We're not. I'm kind of expecting it at this point. We're more shocked when it doesn't. We're more shocked when you actually have heard of something. It does happen on a very rare occasion. You're giggling to yourself. I think deep down you know it's true. Die to bat! He, he went for my head. He punched my head. It was not nice. Oh no! Oh no! How, also, how is your favourite resident at work? Yeah. Ada. <laughs> Ada is Aka's favourite resident where she works. <laughs> and uh, she's your favourite because you'll ask her something and she goes, Oh no! Oh no! Oh yes! Oh no! Uh, EP says, "Mate, I had a friendly, family-friendly content for like two years. Trust me, I'm better not being family-friendly than letting all the lewdness show, ludity show." Imagine that on the back of a DVD. Warning, contains strong ludity. <laughs> Warning, there is no hate fucking in this Christian smut. EP says he would buy that DVD. Ah, oh, babe, look what I'm riding. If you still got the stream open on your phone. Look at him. Look at those little eyes. I don't know what it is, but it's cute. I want one. Look at those little eyes. They're full of wonder and joy. I could do without the shirtless angry man riding him, but... He will be my Jormungandr. Jormungandr. And if things, speaking of Yomanganda, if things go well, we might actually have the uh, the audience be able to redeem points to have Lulu appear on camera. If my sister will stop being a cow. Whee! Oh, I made wave happen in metal. That's impressive. Somehow I found water in metal. That's impressive for an Aquaman hero. Of all the powers of SpongeBob, he can breathe underwater, he can talk to fish. I know. Yeah. You'd have a chat with a Megalodon. Have you ever seen George, Mr. Megalodon? Ugh, it's such a barbaric portrayal of my culture. I wouldn't even dream of eating a human. You're all so scrawny. This Megalodon is also very snobby, apparently. Meh. That's Mr. Megalodon to you. EP says, well, I'm sure Akka appreciates the shirtless guy, even if you don't. Do you appreciate shirtless Aquaman? Yeah. yeah. Also, I'm picturing Jason Momoa. <laughs> yeah, I so, think that's everyone's favourite Aquaman. Picture, so I like it even more. Judith loves Jason Momoa. He is really tall. He's really tall. He's like a really nice guy as well, probably. You ever seen that meme of, like... Uh, whoever, one of his co-stars on the red carpet talking to an interview and that he is sneaking up behind them as if he's like doing a stealth assassination. I 
Is that a Dalek? That looks like a Dalek. We're dead now. Oh, I'd love to see, just for the sake of parody, a Doctor Who beat him up. David Tennant doing Kung Fu. The thing is, though, you'd only ever be able to play as the, uh, I think, the John Pertwee Doctor Who, because he was actually the combat doctor. <laughs> What's up? Tom Baker, who was one of the Doctor Who's, he's got the best... I think he had the best voice for a Doctor. I can't do it justice myself, but he was definitely one of the best voices. But Tennant's your favourite, because he's your crush. I love You love Dennant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, just the thought of you gets... The thought of him gets you tongue-tied. She likes Tennant as Scrooge, she likes him as uh, the bad guy from Jessica Jones. What was his power again? He just says things and people do. Yeah, he's kind of like, um, yeah, like, I don't know what you call it. Manipulation? Hypnotism? I don't really know. But like, he was just, he could just sort of control the people. EP says he appreciates Momoa as well and was about to ask about Jessica Jones. <laughs> oh, I hear you breathing out in excitement. <laughs> Can you imagine if, like, his power wasn't, like, manipulation? People just do what he says. Yeah, you know, you asked me very rude, but you're David Tennant, so I'll allow it. <laughs> Bless me, bagpipes. I do wonder if, like, in a role he's been playing, he's, like, gotten, like, motivations and personalities confused. So, like, Jessica Jones punches him in the face. He's like, oh, bless me bagpipes. And then she blesses his bagpipes. And he's like, I don't even own bagpipes. I've only done it, like, four times. He's like, if I do like Angry Scott, it eventually turns into Irish without even trying. Because I start going, Arr! 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 Arr, to be sure. Bless me, bagpipes and all that. Arr. Apparently, this is a joke for Akka because. <laughs> She knows this person I'm talking about, but apparently I did a spot-on impression of Ben the other night, according to your friend Kimo. Because we were talking about, um, like, people's reactions to things. And I think I could, and I said something like, oh, I think I would like it, and Ben would just go, oh. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it was you were referring to, but that does sound very good. <laughs> where the chat now feels isolated. <laughs> Who is Ben? He's very dry when he gets scared as well. He got scared by, because he was playing the Doctor Who Weeping Angel game and he got scared by an angel and he went, oh, fuck off. <laughs> the two of us may look no more. After this last year, we all feel isolated, says EP. That's true facts being spat by EP there. So, yeah. Damn it, EP. Why you can't put a downer on the chat? Ban yourself. I wonder if he can ban himself. Don't ban yourself, EP. Well, now I'm curious as to whether or not he can. <laughs> Who have we not played as yet? Let's play Black Banter. I'm sorry I ins well I'm not sorry I insulted your costume, but prove to me it's not shit. There you go. EP says, but I don't want to have to leave the stream. You will have to anyway, because you've got work today, I think. And then Oh yeah, that's the thing. Next Saturday we're back to Dead Rising. Me and EP slaughtering the undead for shits and titties. Shits and titties. Well no. The original saying is what? Shits and giggles. And I had someone who said, uh, 
poops and chuckles. So we could say crap and titters. Shits and titters. Is it because it's got tit in there? EP's got the power to do it. Kizzy's got the power to do it, but she's not here anymore. Yeah, so you've heard it from Aka. She requests that someone log in um, shits and titters in the quote boxes. I think you do, actually, yeah. Uh, EP can show you, but it's not easy to do on the phone. You're never with it. Even Jack with Jackbox, you weren't with it. Because your medication's changed and you tr your body's trying to get used to it. EP has said he did it. Oh, Poison Ivy is here. Lesbian thingy. Malt role model. That's what she is, right? She wants to fuck the Harley. And the, fu the Harley wants to fuck her, to be honest. I have seen a lesbian comic with them. Not a porno one, just a regular one where apparently it's the day after they've slept with each other and Harley's like, Ha! I ate a veggie! Oh, and this... Uh, plant creature they've got going on here. I actually recognize this model as well. This is from a game that I am going to be reviewing on arcade hopefully very soon. You get to play as an alien plant and twist people. But no, you're not um, Audrey. Or <laughs> Audrey 2, as you call the piranha plant from Smash Brothers. <laughs> more. I'm starving. Why's it got a girl's name if it sounds like the most brutish man in the world? What a squirrel's in my pants. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, take the first letter of every word. I didn't say it, I just said what it stands for. Squirrels in my pants. Squirrels, there's squirrels in my pants! Alright, we've got one life left. Let's put it on Lobo. There's my motorbike. My Lobo motorbike. Can I punch Ivy? No. Right in the clitoris. I used to play with someone on Xbox Live and whenever we'd be going against a female villain and it was <laughs> like one he didn't like or whatever he'd be like, oh god I hate this bitch just go up and haymaker, pow, right in the clitoris Oh, Ethy says Poison Ivy I like her although we didn't actually get to punch her we punched a plant to death and now she's upset about it They do. But this one was trying to eat me. Do we still love it? Yeah, but that's because you're on their territory. I was minding my own business beating up folks and she sent a plant after me. You're suggesting that a plant's territory is just wherever it lives. As in, wherever it is at the time. Even in my own house. So your windowsill is not your windowsill, it's the cactus's territory. Do you name your plant? Yeah, I was going to say, do you forget all the names of your plants? EP with EP's doing his Casanova routine again. Oh, Two Face is Mr. X, but uh, you didn't see it in our last Dead Rising stream. But uh, every female survivor we saved, he's like, "Hey, I'm EP. How you doing?" 
The last one he tried it on was a goth rock singer <laughs> from a band called Angel Lust, the most edgy teen name ever. And the lyrics were terrible as well. She, she only had three lyrics and she kept singing them over and over. Uh, sort of like, feed me your soul till I'm bloated, oh it tastes so good, or something like that, and that's pretty much all she says. That one kid from high school we all know that wanted to be a musician and they just have terrible songs. I knew one, but he wanted to be a punk singer, not a goth singer. <laughs> Oh, I think Bender once played Lobo in the animated um, Superman series as well. Yeah, he's like this alien biker with a I don't give a shit attitude. He might just go, oh, I'm going to go fight Superman because I'm bored. Or I might go and fight Lex Luthor because I'm bored. And I want to piss off a rich guy. most foul-mouthed character ever. Well, in the DC universe, he's the most foul-mouthed character they've got as well. But he's got hell of a charisma to go with it. Ah, oh, damn. See, I was trying to beat him and we ran out of lives, but I was like, well, is there really a point trying to win in a system that's just clearly rigged against you because all the enemies attack you all at once and leave you no breathing room? All right, well, how much time have we got left? We've got 20 minutes. I don't think there's anything else we need to test. We could probably end the stream early today. Watchtower is two-player mode, and that's basically level select. Can you, uh, I don't know. I was going to say, like, can you just, like, have characters go against each other? No, there's no AI versus AI in this one. <laughs> but, yeah. That's How about... What they do. Uh, I don't... Well, it's just EP now. I think everyone else left. Right. <laughs> not, not to say I blame them. But anyway, I think I'll just summarise now. So, I would say that the game is still fun. The enemies, in some cases, are still massively aggressive, but the characters are all very well animated. Um, the bosses are still massively over-aggressive, and I think if ZVTOR could actually... I mean, he has said that it takes a lot of editing to change behaviour, and I do appreciate that. But all I'm saying is that if you are playing a game... If you're making a game and the enemies are ridiculous aggressive as in they give you no breathing room whatsoever and are pretty much on you the very second you fall to the ground it's not fun it's frustrating but I do appreciate all the lore that goes into this game and like you'll see just then I probably could have had two face but because I was just constantly swamped with enemies that all attack at once and just the ranged units never stop shooting it just it gets boring after a while that's my biggest gripe with it, but everything else I like. So thanks everyone who turned up to the stream. Appreciate each and every one of you. Tomorrow we're playing Scriblio, so if you want to join in for that, then do come along. It's the one where you're given a prompt and you have to draw it, but you can play it on your web browser so you don't have to download anything. So that will be at 1 o'clock tomorrow, and then next week... It should be me and E... Well, it could be me and EP playing Dead Rising. As far as I know. It depends if he's free and depends if I'm at home or not. And then that Sunday, I've got no clue. We'll have to think of something we can play. Well, I say we is in me in the chat. 
So thanks everyone for coming. Appreciate each and every one of you. Let's do a raid. You are free. Okay, so next Saturday is Dead Rising then. Good, good, good. So who are we going to raid? Is Ozzy still on? Yeah, let's raid Ozzy. Because Ozzy's cool, mate. Just make sure I've spelled his name right. There's an RC event going on at the minute. You're also in Ozzy's stream. How dare, EP? How dare you divide your attention? <laughs> no. RC stream? Uh, uh, RC event? What do you mean, EP? Is that what he's doing? No, he's doing Vactoria. Anyway, thanks everyone for coming. And appreciate each and every one of you. Next Saturday is Dead Rising. Tomorrow is Scriblio. And then the next Sunday, I don't know. So I'll see you later. Bye. Well, then I did it again. Oh. Because I typed Ozzy's name wrong. So the raid didn't work. There we go. Is it going to work now? Okay, yes. We're going to go raid with three viewers. Him was half bold doof and a bunch of others. Oh, they're doing a factorial event at the minute. Interesting. All right. Well, if you're interested in Red Circuit, do consider sticking around. But I will see you guys tomorrow. So bye. Yeah.